What's up you guys, it's Jaded. Today we're taking a look at Borderlands 2. So uh, I've been playing this game about two, three days now and put a lot of time into it. Been playing mostly co-op with one other friend. Um, haven't done too much four player co-op. Currently I am somewhere on the mid 20s uh, level wise and I've been playing the Siren class. So I'm gonna be going over the game, giving you my impressions with it, telling you if it's worth buying or not and telling you the problems it might have so, first and foremost, I want to start off with just how good this game runs. This game runs incredibly well. Um, it, it really blew me away, actually, what my computer can do with this game, because my computer is very old. Um, you know, the processor in it is an E6750. If you guys even remember that, uh, that processor, you know, for my machine to handle it so incredibly well, it, it really just says a lot about the game. I get very, very little slowdown, even playing at 1920 by 1200. Like, it, it's just, it's mind boggling how they were able to pack such a beautiful, gorgeous game, uh, make it load fast, make it run fast. Uh, you know, there's just a lot of work that went into uh, cleaning up the code and just making it run super efficiently. And that's, that's a good sign in a game, especially one that has such little bugs. Like, I've run into really nothing that has frustrated me, like any crashes, any bugs like that, any issues joining games or um, loading stuff. So yeah, that, that really just speaks a lot to how much polish they put on this game. So huge props there. Um, but let's talk about visually how this game looks because I think it's very, very unique compared to a lot of games out there now. Um, you know, there are games that are going for these more stylized looks. Torchlight 2, you know, World of Warcraft, uh, games that just have very painterly textures and try to go for a more stylized, you know, art direction. So this game is absolutely gorgeous. Everywhere, every, every location just looks a lot different than the other. The color palettes used all work really, really well, even in night and day cycles. There's just like a real masterful craft, like a really master design team behind the textures, the modeling, uh, the animation. The guns, especially, which I'll talk about later. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the game is just, it's just absolutely beautiful. I'm just, like, an enormous fan of this art direction. Even though a lot of games do the painterly stuff, it just feels so unique. Especially the characters, like, the way that they're kind of, like, drawn and they, they got the, like, black lines on them. It's just absolutely gorgeous, so... Art direction, big thumbs up there, love it. And something, as well, that kind of goes along with the style is the introduction to characters in the game. Um, it's kind of like this title screen. It's got a little bit of animation to it with the lettering. Absolutely love just the, the style, the flavor coming off this game. All right, so it runs well, it looks well. How does it sound? Well, a lot of the guns really impress me with the audio. Like, um, th they don't sound cartoony. Everything has a lot of boominess to it. Um, it sounds like a real gun or just has parts of sounds of real guns into it because I mean a lot of the guns aren't realistic but the audio is done really well for them um, the voice acting the voice acting really shines and that has a lot to do with the story but uh, you know all, all the NPCs just have amazing voice talent behind them when I'm human I can finally stop being so good at math Nothing is more boring than being able to multiply 8281 by 9333332.454 to get 7728926051.5. Each character vastly different from any other character, and that really goes along with adding to the flavor of the game, adding to the charm. It makes you really want to live in this universe or, or like feel like you're a part of this universe because of all the crazy characters. The music also is done really well. Um, it's kind of understated in the background. Uh, it's not meant to be like this super epic music that's always going, but it's just something really nice during fights. It changes up, and, and when the fight ends, it calms down. And there's a couple tracks that remind me of Bastion, um, or even like the StarCraft Terran music in there. They have that really similar sounding flavor, like the, the guitar and the westernish theme. So I love the soundtrack. Um, Let's talk about the actual meat of the game now. Let's talk about classes and customization and, of course, guns. So if you're wondering how deep the customization goes, I would say it doesn't go that deep per se into how you can build your character. There's really just like three trees and you kind of pick one and go for it. Uh, you know, that doesn't mean you have to stick with it. You can spread out talents 
and I'm guessing as you get really high level, um, that's gonna happen naturally. But uh, in, in terms of the talent tree, you know, it's not it's not too different from the first game. The first game has uh, not the exact same classes. You know, we have four new classes, but it does have that similar three skill tree style. Um, but one of the better customization things in this game is the badass ranks. Um, it's just something that kind of happens naturally. Basically, the way I see badass ranks is it's achievements done right. It's, you know, you play the game so much, you're getting these achievements. In any other game, they'd just be like, hey, you know, you did something. And this useless thing pops up and tells you you're cool. But in this game, it actually matters to your character's development. Because you can get things like enhanced gun damage, uh, grenade damage, reload speed, shield recharge rate. You know, there's a, there's a bunch of things you can pick every certain uh, badass level intervals. And there's just a ton of like challenges that you can do. Um, you know, you can either like specifically seek out these challenges or you can just let them happen sort of naturally over time. So while the badass ranking system isn't that big of a deal, I think it's just, you know, like I said, achievements done right. It's something just a little extra to push you and uh, add to your character. So let's talk guns because there are an insane number of guns in this game. Uh, it shows you a different gun style in the loading screen every time. I don't think I've seen the same gun once yet. There's just so much work that has gone into making all the guns look unique, feel unique, have you know different bits and parts on them. Um, but it's not just style, you know, it's not just every gun looks different. Every gun has like different uh, reload animations or when you zoom down the sights, they all feel a little bit different. The way that they burst when they zoom in, the way that they shoot two shots at once. Um, you know, there's just a ton of different guns in this game. And this is really where the customization comes in in a big time in terms of gear. Guns are essentially your skills. Guns are essentially how you kill stuff in this game. Unlike other games, they're more like RPG-ish. You have a lot more abilities, like you know, in an MMO or something, you have tons of skills. In this game, it's really all about shooting. And that's kind of where, you know, you, you might like that, you might not like that. Uh, I myself would love to see more skills on each class. More in the vein of a Mass Effect or something like that, where shooting is still the core killing mechanic, but, you know, adding a lot more skills into the mix. You know, th that's just a personal thing that I would have liked to have seen. But, I mean, the guns are just all done really well, and I'm still finding new ones, even at mid-20s. Um, there's also other types of gear that you can get in the game in the form of grenade mods. So, the grenades that you throw out have, like, a skill slot for them. So, for example, my friend got a grenade that would suck enemies up into, like, a wormhole and then explode into the slag damage. Um, you know, you got you got your elemental damage throughout the game. That's slag damage, corrosive damage, fire damage, and then there's also explosion. Oh, and uh, and uh, lightning, electric damage as well. And these all handle differently versus different mobs. So, for example, the electric damage it's good versus shields. It knocks out shields really fast. Uh, the corrosive damage good versus armored targets. And so you get like a fun mechanic there where you kind of want to keep each type of element damage with you. And then there's also a slot for your specific class, so something that modifies your class in a way that uh, it, it might be recoil reduction, fire rate, it might be a skill reduction for the entire party. Um, just a little mod to add into the mix there that also can enhance individual skills down your skill tree, like a plus two skill or a plus three. Um, and then on that you have your shield mod and you know, shield mods are kind of boring, but they're essential. Uh, however, I have run into a really unique one that I got on a quest. And it really just shows you how just charming this game is. Because it took the AI I got from this quest. Um, you know, I'm not going to give away any spoilers or anything like that. But it took the AI from the quest, put it into the shield. So now every time uh, the shield breaks, the AI would say something or it recharges. It'd say, come at me, bro. Um, so just really, really great personality throughout the game. Uh, and, and those little things just really add up to a game that feels just really polished and really well done. And then one thing I want to bring up is the fact that it no longer uses GameSpy, something that plagued the first game. 
Uh, I don't really understand why games want to use these third-party connection device, uh, uh, connection networks such as games for Windows Live. Horrible, horrible things. Uh, this game only uses Steam, and it really shines because of it. The networking super fast. You can drop in, drop out. I've never really had any issues. It's done really, really well. Um, unlike the first game, where your progress wouldn't get saved if you jumped into someone else's game. Uh, you know, there, there's none of those issues. Everything just flows really well. Um, in terms of the loot distribution, um, some people have said, you know, in a modern era where we've had games come out like Diablo 3 that has your individual loot, um, that this game should have that as well. But, you know, it, it got me thinking about the whole individual loot thing, which is... There's really two ways of doing it. You could do the individual loot where all you see is your own loot. The other players in the game can't have access to it. I think that's great if you play with random people um, because you don't want that asshole coming into your game and just taking everything, sucking all the items up. Um, because, you know, you can essentially do that. So if you play with random people, it can be an issue. But the reason I think that they didn't do it is if you're playing with friends, they're just able to add a lot more loot into the mix because everybody sees it. And so it feels like a lot more items are available, um, even though that might not be the case. Because if you had individual loot, what would happen is, you know, you might see a gun that you don't really like. You're not going to pick that gun up and then drop it for a friend just so they can, you know, use it. You don't have any idea if the stats are even good for them. So you don't want to do that for like every single gun you see. Um, so I think that's why they didn't do the individual loot thing. It, it just kind of makes more sense in this specific game um, because it's a little bit more clunky to navigate through the menus. Uh, you know, it's not like a typical action RPG where you just have an inventory window that you could pop up really quick, uh, drag and drop stuff, which kind of gets a little annoying at times. You know, you want it to be fast, but you know, the menu system it is good for what it is. I'm not going to really knock the game for that. You know, being a console game as well, it does show signs of it being, you know, cross-platform because they needed to make the menus for everything. But overall, not that big of a deal. You know, I've been having an absolute blast playing this game. I think if you're on the fence about it, uh, you just have to answer the question, is one playthrough enough for you? Um, because I don't see this being a game that you put you know, time like you do in, in games like Diablo, where you're trying to make the best character ever. Um, in Borderlands 2, it's more about the story, it's more about that co-op experience. And for me personally, once that's done, I don't see myself playing this game that much. Um, maybe when DLC comes out and stuff like that. But, you know, a as a package, as a whole, it is definitely really well made, really polished. A uh, gorgeous, beautiful game. All the art assets are just really well done. If you liked the first game, it's a no-brainer. If you didn't like the first game, uh, I don't know if there's enough here for you to enjoy. There's a lot of really funny comedy, actually, that surprised me. The writing's done really well uh, for the dialogue. The humor is really interesting in this game because it's like, it's kind of immature, but it's done in a really smart way, and it's delivered in a really good way. So there is kind of crude humor in the game, but uh, it's just delivered in a really smart way. It kind of reminds me of something like Workaholics, or, or something of that nature. So yeah, I mean, it's Borderlands 2, it's more the first game, it's more Borderlands, but it's done a lot better. Especially as a PC gamer, it's done it justice. So yeah, I absolutely love it, and I would definitely recommend it if it interests you at all. But that's gonna be my time, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. I can leave! I finally find a way off this jack-forsaken planet! Take me! Frickin' take me!